ね。Who this? Who me? Who you? Who him? Who her? Who they? Because we're all inclusive here. Spiro. Spyro. Spyro. Spiro. Spyro. Shitty accent. Bro. Hello. Greetings. The adventure continues. I've got my bucket of red drink. I've got... Crippling depression. <laughs> uh, the adventure continues. So, let's move the microphone out of uh, eye shot. And, oh, I should probably plug my phone in, yeah? In the event of total atomic annihilation. That might be useless. Uh, oh. Okay. I don't recall where I left off. So, we're just gonna have to deal. There are uh, Neanderthals. Also, there are low frame rate Neanderthals. Look at that frame rates. Beautiful frame rates. He's done diddly frozen. Here's hoping that uh, this game ain't broken, because, you know. Yeah. So I'm going to turn this up. There we go. We're good. I am a dragon. I need to, uh, I'm assuming there's a catapult. So I'm going to have to stand here and thaw these dudes out. Yeah, there we go. Spyro. <laughs> Every single time. Oh, Jesus. It's this one? Every single time they, you know, you rescue the initial Spyro. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. It's like Doug when he starts uh, a phone call. Hi, yes. Is that how it works? All right, cool. Oh, oh no, you ain't gonna hit me. See? Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Sounds like a... It's like, uh, exertion noise the game. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I done diddly fucking died. Bye, Spyro. <clears throat> Alright, so I gotta do this again. Do I have to listen to it again? Yep, okay, gotcha. Cool, yep. It's a Groundhog Day. Been there, done that. If you get on the thing, we can help you across your mom's gaping chasm. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we... There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we this? Yeah, okay. We can do that. Alright. Oh, they love me. You are now ice. You are now fire. You've turned into water. Congratulations. Can I go in there? No. Oh, it's not a cave. I'm an idiot. Certified idiot. Don't worry. Blue Dog 35, certified idiot. We good. What? We'll have to climb this wall up ahead. Okay. Are you gonna make uh stairs for me? Yeah, they're gonna make stairs for me. See? Look at that. Platforming. 3D platforming. Shock me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's how you do it. Serpentine, serpentine. See ya. Giving them gems. Gems, gems. Sentient snowball. It's an abomination. Aha! Oh, okay, maybe not. I ha too soon. Is that a snow bunny? Come here. I just want to hug. Oh god! Can I... Yep. I'm not good at this game. What 
Let me guess, something something bridge, something something gems, something something money. Right? Is that how it is? That's, I'm pretty sure that's what, oh yeah. Pretty sure that's what they're gonna come back at me with. Because that guy's a dick. Oh, no, I missed some stuff. This camera, my god. Give me your butterfly. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. Bet you haven't thought about Crazy Town in like 10 years. But you didn't even know it was called Crazy Town. It's kind of glorious factual information you'll only get here on Blue Dog 35. <laughs> Spyro. Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge. Cool. <clears throat> this small beam. Uh huh. As as is tradition. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. I hope you die in a fire. Cool. chicken don't do that don't do what I say do do as I say not as I do <laughs> No below. Oh, there you go. Because you're going up. See. These people have some very serious calves. That was. I could not have predicted that. The the bank that they got off that thing. So I guess this is Canada? Is that what this is? I'm gonna need my resident Canadian to uh to to confirm. Maybe maybe she'll pop in. But I don't know. I I don't think this is an accurate representation of uh Canada. I don't see a Timmy's anywhere. So I honestly do not think this is an accurate representation of Canada. Um. Hey, is this the hockey? I no leopard. Is he fishing? I mean, I turned around. He was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draclets. Draclets? Draclets? It's no leopard? What you got down there, huh? That is that that's a snow leopard, yeah? It's kind of cute. I can only imagine what kind of abomination that would look like uh, on PlayStation 1. Do you imagine if you could switch between PS1 graphics and this like you can on 
the Halo Master Chef collection. Where'd you go, kitty? You go, oh, you're up there. Okay. Uh, mow, 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 mow. Mow, mow. I'm speaking your language. Mow, mow. Mow, mow, mow. Mow, mow, mow. Mow, mow. Mow, mow. Mow, mow. Mow, mow. Mow, mow, mow. Mow, mow. Mow, mow. No, don't go over there, kitty. Mow, mow. Mow, mow, mow. Mow, mow. Um, I don't want to, like, hurt it. Oh, he's so cute. I can't look at it. Look at the cute little thing. Oh, can I, like... Yeah, there we go. Alright, you got the fish. Mmm, yummy. You got... Nope, nope. Let's go over this way. Come on. Come on. Okay. No! I need more fish. How do I do this? I don't want to, like, flame it. Because then it... Okay, you've exhausted your supply of fish. Now go this way. No! No, go that way! No! Oh, there's another fish hole. Ladies. Okay. Now you... Oh, no. No, yep. No, yep. Are you happy? Are you happy? Come with me. Come with me. Are you gonna follow me? Oh my god, it follows me. I gave it fish, so it follows me. I'm its new daddy. What am I gonna do with a friggin' snow leopard? Wow, that changes direction very, very, very. Uh... <laughs> it's like those paintings with the freaky eyes that follow you around no matter where you go. <laughs> Alright, here, I brought you your possessed cat <laughs> you found George. I'm so oh yeah glad it had a name yeah you probably should he well, needs a freaking exorcism stat oh man yes give me that orb <laughs> See you later. Bye, everybody. All right, let's see if we can do this again. Properly this time. No balls. No balls. So many snowballs to kill. You know, I love lemonade, but it's a shame they gotta kill all those lemons. Is that all there is for this map? No. George Lopez the Snow Leopard. God, there's still a whole... There's gotta be some sort of secret area that I haven't found yet. Oh yeah, I didn't go down there. That's what a draclet is. Before they take over our whole village, do you think you can get rid of them for us? <laughs> Too scary. Remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any 
city are left alive, they will continue to... Um... Okay, so this is where the weird flying... Okay, cool, yep. Great time for my friggin' eye to check out. Can I fly through the thing again? Okay, cool. Not gonna have to make it go around again. Come on, Spyro, fly faster. Trout! You're here. What's up, bud? First aid, indeed. First aid for me. Oh my god, these things keep coming back, and it's pissing me off. multiplying like rats. Oh my god! Spyro, why you do this? Spyro! First aid! First aid for Spyro. I'm gonna run out of fucking fly juice. No, don't go in the goo. No, don't. Oh my god, I hate Spyro. 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 Remember Spyro? Fucking pizza. Oh my god, why do I miss it? Why? I'm gonna, like, rage. No, I'm not gonna rage. I don't rage. I'll just quit. <laughs> okay, cool. Fucking things just come out of nowhere. And they legit keep regenerating. I think I have to do like a perfect run and get- No! Get them all at once. Of course there's that one, and that one. Of course. Oh my god, can you just take off in a fucking straight line? Oh, there's only like three left. Five left. I missed one. I missed two. Oh my god, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! Oh my fucking Christ. Yep, they're all back. I need to do this perfect. <clears throat> he says as he fails. Can you all just die, please? Just fall down, stop breathing. It'd be preferable. 
Of course. Oh my god. Spyro, your controls are bad and you should feel bad. I need to find... I need to find health. Oh my fuck! Alright. There's the butterfly. I need to like farm these dudes so I don't die. Uh, and I just noticed my friggin' webcam stopped. Ah, oh, joys. Joys of technology. I hate this friggin' thing. Uh, uh, yes, no. There we go. Okay, then well, there's two me's. There we go. Now we'll. No, that's Casey. The other one isn't. It was an imposter. Okay. Back to... Rage-inducing Spyro. In all honesty, I'm probably just gonna friggin' go to the end here and... Call it dang old quits for this level, because I don't like this level. See you later. Bye. New king. Alright, so if those people can jump super high. Happy sun break. Happy sun. Happy smile. Oh, man. Yep, indeed. I'm not really sure how long I'm going to stream for. I really initially wasn't going to stream. Um, so, I'm not really sure how long I'm going to go for. It's probably going to be a short stream tonight. Uh, I can't really do anything in Animal Crossing until tomorrow. So, we're kind of at a, uh, a standstill on that one. Um, look at all the frogs I can kill. It's Elora. Well done, Spyro. The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. Cool. Oh, it's this one. These are rage inducing as well. Oh, that felt great. What's going on? There's one more and I missed it. Hey, oh, I got a an achievable. Jumpers. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was 
something else. Oh my god, it's always that one. Guess we can't do that. <laughs> I am apocalyptically bad at this. Oh my god. Giving up and walking into the ocean with my clothes on. Drat! So I've got the Pigeons. Pigeons. Alright, cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Have I, have I ever... Have I ever mentioned how fucking dog shit I am at any platforming game? Get that one. There's one more. Oh my fuck. Okay. Oh, he was right there. Ah! Hey, there we go. Fancy fucking. Uh, yeah, we're gonna quit. <sighs> Word of the day. We're gonna quit. Payroll? Yes, payroll. You mean Spyro. I don't know, Spyro might bust in that. That was, uh, that was pretty funny. The last time I played this, he was, uh, uncontrollably... ...being, uh... Getting the suck. Alright. Yeah, fuck this world. Let me guess. Near, we have this, and you can open the gate if you just give me 20 million, thousand million, million, million. <clears throat> well, listen here, money bags. Oh. Um, uh, um, um, okay. Is 
Did I learn how to climb walls? I did, didn't I? Look at that. I didn't know Spyro was part gecko. Ooh, he does a shimmy and a shake. Scorch. Now that's my kind of... Ah. Fracture Hills. Magma Cone. Alright, so Dr. Evil in the Spyro universe confirmed. I can let you into the little castle over there and you can? For a few gems. <gasps> How much? Nope. Hey, it's up to you. So he's there and over there. How'd you get over there? <laughs> Send nudes. Spyro, Ripto and Gulp are hiding out in a sealed chamber in the castle below us. In order to get to them, You'll need all 14 talismans to break the lock. Oops. I don't think I meant to do that. But does it really? What happens for, like, you know, when the game isn't on? Is it continuing? Is it really continuing? We. Oh, this is the first world. Did I get everything in this one? Hey, look at the water falling on the ground, going to nowhere. Look at that. Yeah, that doesn't always work, bud. But that's fine. I don't blame you for wanting to play a game. Sparrow can be boring. Uh, all right, Hunter, what you got for me, bud? I'm just taking a break right now. I've got to rest for the next big race in Ocean Speedway. Ooh. Big race. I gotta get up there somehow.
Oh shit! <laughs> I <laughs> breastfeeding. Would you win the ribbon for breastfeeding? <laughs> I love poo breastfeeding ribbon. Ember hype, ember hype, ember hype. Ember hype, ember hype. Send me embers, ember hype. Eee, give me money. I sold out. Give me money. And the Red Sox. Did I just die? Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the winter tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There, that's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? It did actually play, Trout. I have fucking that's my birthday. audio off like an idiot. What? Give me a sec, let me try. It did play. I'm just an idiot. I don't understand why it doesn't play fucking. Why can't either of you? Where are we? Mm, no dragons. Wonderful. It did play. Go back and pack my bag. I just We're had the friggin' in. thing off. I'm sorry. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my. I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Let me see if this will replay. Through the portal, you idiot. There we go. Tell your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Curtis Trout for sent WHM astronaut worth 50. Mix a big boy and the hype. Totally not clickbait. Now! Go! Run! Get the orbs! It didn't play the emojis. That time. It did this time. I mean, it did the first time. This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Let me try this. I'm going into the old, oldest thing. Didn't you say something about not liking dragons? <laughs> Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? I'm gonna play like everything that you've done in the last like week. Coated trout four cents build T worth fifty. WHM astronaut when your YouTube big boy gets demonetized because of the oncoming fist. <laughs> Coated trout four cent excited worth one hundred. Suit fish is hated by mixer. Unfortunately. Oh shit. Shit. Uh this is the the boss level. How do I do this? I don't know how to do this. Now he's pounding on it. Do I need to... Yes, okay.
Oh, he does three now. Send me sheep. There's sheep. Send nudes. He chases me. He gave up. Oh god. I did it. I think I've already done this. You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. Go! Come here now! Destroy him and make sure it's painful! Go! Get me out of here! Yeah. So long, I already did this. <laughs> I did it. <clears throat> Again. Uh, you probably hit the follow button by accident and it unfollowed you and then refollowed you. It is entirely possible. Ooh. Okay, I get it. I get it. I understand. I've defeated crush can I thank you all right I need more frogs I need to friggin give me the frogs all right so I need to go back to the previous although I don't think I went to here or over here. Oh, uh, no. There's... I got the talisman there. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> ah! Joy. Oh, there's a gem I missed. One. Give me mine. <laughs> My gems. It's freaking hot in here. I forgot it's gonna be summer soon and I don't like heat I don't like the heat makes a big boy doesn't like the heat <laughs> more cave people <sighs> The flying bat cat. What's the point of a joker? Uh it's like a it's just a gimmick with the racing. It's um it's like a a self administered penalty lap. Um, the Joker is usually a longer route around the track. Um, it's just, a, you know, yeah. Uh, it's just to, to even out the competition a little bit better and to switch things up a little. Usually in Rallycross, where, you know, the, 
the races are only a few laps long. It's Pyro. Um. Cousin Glug. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's it's basically just a, a way to switch things up a bit. Did that thing just puke on me? See ya. Oh, fire demons. That are impervious to f Oh my god. Well, I guess I can make it through the Badlands without getting singed. That was easy. Well done, Grasshopper. Take this shiny uh, thing we found to aid your. Uh oh, it looks like more lizard eggs are dropping down. Are you ready for another? What a way to take care of your children. Just drop their friggin'. Well, I mean, if it exists, it's got a point. Right? Especially in racing, when people don't do pointless things. Other than driving in circles. Oh my god, the same guy. Get it. Fuck. I need to figure out the correct route for this. Oh my god! Sorry. Uninterested. Oh, it's a flaming hairball. That's what it is. Alright. Oh, those guys are anger. Meh.
Thanks, cat. Dookie will get a, uh, a road course eventually. You made it through the bad One of these days. I really need to figure out how to make the damn game play nice with uh, my streaming software. And all the research I do, it, nothing comes up because nobody streams this. So, or nobody streams uh, NASCAR. It only plays nice on uh, the vanilla settings, so, like, any mods are just, you know, oh. Oh. Uh, it doesn't like to, to work with mods. I mean, it is an ancient game, so... I don't blame it, but at the same time, you'd think that it would run at least kind of okay on you know hardware that is legitimately miles ahead of what it's supposed to be run on or what it was designed to run on but sometimes old games don't work well on new hardware so what I really should do is when I can afford it after I've got uh, you know, things sorted. Um, I should just build a Windows XP machine and use that. Because that's kind of what it was built, or that's what it was made to run on, or meant to run on. And I could build something like that for a couple hundred bucks, so, uh, you know, a good computer that would get good frame rates and all that stuff and then I just capture the the video with this computer thank you with my capture card you know and uh, go from there uh, NASCAR 2003 season no, Windows 7 was like friggin' 2005, 2006. Windows 7 was 2009. have one of these? No, I don't. Oops, I missed. This is why I'm no good at first person shooters. Nope. There. I helped you. Now you love me. Yay.
Yay! Oh, they have camcorders in the... And he's like, ha look at this bone! <laughs> I don't know if there was ever a secret build of Windows 9. I'm sure that they had some sort of internal something. I mean, I'm not a Microsoft employee, nor have I ever been, so I'm not qualified to speak on that. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they just went from 8 to 10 because uh, 10 sounded better, and uh, it was such a... I guess leap forward, maybe? I don't know. I, I'm not, uh... I've only recently really gotten into computers, so I don't know a whole lot about stuff like that. Um... I just know that Windows 7 kind of sucked, and it used a lot of RAM, and uh, the system requirements for it were way bigger, way more uh, uh, taxing than what this should have been when it comes to, you know, running it on things that it came on that it probably shouldn't have. I remember my mother had a netbook that had, like, this is a small, like, a mini laptop, a netbook. It was, it was tiny, and it was, like, this little 10-inch netbook thing, and, uh, it had... Vista on it, and, um, yeah, Vista was terrible, uh, Windows 7 was okay, um, I think I said the, that backwards, Windows Vista was bad, Windows 7 was okay, Windows 10 is, uh, I never had Windows 8, um, Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. Zephyr. Ooh. Ooh Buddy! What's up? How you doing? Oh, for a small fee, of course. Uh, but yeah, I don't know a whole lot about, you know, stuff like that. All I know is that Vista was like paranoidcomputer.exe. Uh, and then, yeah. Um, Windows 7 was good. Vista was crap. 10 is better, but it has its issues. But it's what everybody uses, so, you know. Yeah. It's what everything's developed for and all that stuff. I don't really have any strong opinions either way. Potatoes here. I don't see potato. My resident Canadian. Oh, sneeze. I just sneezed fire. I mean, I am a dragon. No, oh, potato is in the thing. I think potato's lurking, though. Potato, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hello, if you're here. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Uh... But yeah, I'm doing all right, buddy. Um, finally uh, working on getting that oxygen sensor for my car. So uh, it's it's being a pain, but um, I'm I'm just hoping that uh, you know with all this all this uh, ridiculousness and things goings on, current events that uh, they don't like shut down the post office or something. Because uh, Amazon was talking about shutting down um, warehouse shipments. So, like, if, if I bought something and it was at a different warehouse than my local warehouse, they wouldn't ship it. Um, if it was there, they'd still, you know, send it out. But uh, So, I might have to figure out a little bit. Uh, I might have to get the part at a, at a brick-and-mortar store, which is, you know... Uh, much more expensive than if I bought it online. It's like $40 more expensive, which is a pain in the ass, but, you know, 
needs must. Um, I'm actually going to talk, have a chat with my landlord about uh, if if it gets much worse, you know, like if, if Doug gets uh, called off, which I don't think it will, um, but, you know, if, if it gets much worse and there's some sort of government shutdown thing, then uh, I'm going to have a chat with my landlord about, you know, how the car is still fucked and if he can... Uh, go with all the current events if he can go a little lax on rent for a month. Oh, you can't have my money. No! It's my money! You see how he like recoiled in terror as I got closer? Um, he's racist against dragons. He's speciesist. Um, but yeah, uh, if I can talk to him and, and get him to agree to maybe half rent for next month or something, then um, I can sort the car out and, you know, we can work it out then. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd have all the money I needed to get the car sorted. Because, like, put it this way, if I had, like, you know, 200 bucks, I could sort the car out even if something else pops up. I could, I could sort it out no problem because the parts that I need and the parts that it could be are, like, I'm down to two things that it could be. I've legit replaced everything else. I just, I hate chasing problems with, with, you know, with cars. It's a pain in the ass. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely getting bad and people are taking, uh, taking things a bit meh, but we've been over this already. So, no, I know let, no landlord is available or is able to kick anyone out. The thing is, we want to be on good terms with our landlord. Because we are we are on very good terms with our landlord. Like, our landlord is awesome. I love my landlord. Sean is fucking amazing. Like, I've never had a landlord that I absolutely liked. And every time I've ever had a problem, every time I've ever had some sort of issue or a question, he's always legit right there, you know, uh, uh, accepting and kind and understanding. And, like, there was one month where... Um, when I was going to get paid and when Doug was going to get paid, our pay schedules were like off by like a week and we wouldn't have had enough money for rent when it was due. And I was like, Hey Sean, you know, we're gonna, uh, you know, I did, I did the math. Um, we're going to be like a week late for rent, uh, just because, and I explained the situation. I was like, you know, I get paid this date. Doug gets paid this date. We already paid bills. We already did everything. Uh, you know, all that stuff, and, you know, is there any chance that you can just hang on for a week, and it might not even be a week, it might just be a few days over when rent is due, and he's like, no problem, you know, you, you do what you gotta do, just let me know, you guys have always been good, and, you know, we've been here six, eight months now, and we haven't missed rent, you know, aside from that one time when we told him that we were gonna be late, and, you know, we're not the problem people. We don't call them all the time with, you know, with issues. Legit, the only problem I've ever had in this place um, is, I mean, it's kind of a rundown house, but it's not disgusting. It's not horrible. It's not, you know, falling apart. Um, the only problem I've ever had in this place is that my furnace blew up once. And, well, twice, technically. But, uh, you know, as soon as he could, as soon as he could find parts for it, you know, he, he came and fixed it. And it was... And it was done, you know, and it's been running fine ever since. So my landlord is awesome. And the thing is, we, we don't want to be on bad terms. We don't want to just be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, whoops. So I'm going to talk to him about it and tell him because the best way to get things out of people or to, to you know, get things to go your way is to talk and to, to explain your situation. And if you're dealing with somebody who's has half a brain, then they'll understand, especially with everything that's going on, especially with the fact that, like, a good portion of people's jobs don't exist right now. So, you know, that's only in in Pennsylvania, as you probably know, non-essential uh, work is closed. So, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, oh, your landlord's good too? Uh, hey, there you go. 
There you go. That's all you can do, you know. And and I mean, you know, you make ends meet. You you know, you make it up, you know, with uh, you know, a little extra on top next month or you know, the month down that after everything blows over and stuff. So I mean, hey, there's <clears throat> there's ways to to um there's ways to get around it, you know. And if if you're not with somebody who's a greedy, you know, scum lord then you should be able to just kind of, you know, yeah. So, um, uh, yes, Doug's, Doug's Walmart is the same way because he's overnight manager. So, um, he, they close at eight and then they still have the people stocking. So, um, you know, a lot of their trucks come in at night, so they have people stocking and, um, you know, getting everybody, uh, um, you know, up and up and running. Uh, the good thing is Doug said there might actually be some toilet paper on the shelf. So, you know, that, that might be cool because we're kind of running low on tickets to the show. Um, I don't know why people decide to, you know, buy toilet paper, but, uh, you would think like food would be the number one panic buy thing to, to, you know, whatever, but no, I guess people really want to wipe their ass, <laughs> but Hey, it is one of those where, uh, we're, we're dealing, we have, uh, people are absolutely mental. I just don't get it. Even if it is like really bad, like let's say for shits and giggles, it's, you know, it, it is just as bad as the people who are who are freaking out about it is you know let's say it's that bad even if it was that bad the reaction that people are having is completely unnecessary you know it, it's just i don't know um Regardless of whatever, you know, the government decides to do, uh, I think, you know, once this eventually blows over, I think this is going to be the perfect case study for, uh, you know, what a lot of people think socialism is, because a lot of people think that, um, you know, free medicine is socialism when it's really kind of not. Um, but I really don't want to get into that because, you know, reasons, um, I really don't know what to play. Uh, but yeah, I, I think, uh, I think the reason people are afraid of it is because they're afraid of people who do game the system, people who do take advantage of the system and they think that the number of those people is a lot higher than it is. And, you know, like I have, I have friends that are like, Oh, I don't want to, you know, why should I pay taxes and, and, and support other people when, you know, they, uh, you know, whatever. But <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's just everybody's priorities are in a different place when it should be, everyone collectively instead of you specifically you know it, it needs to be everyone everyone uh everyone at once because in the end this is the united states of america not the separated states or the conflicting states you know if if we're gonna if we're gonna actually make things work we need to come together instead of arguing over you know whose forty thousand dollar furniture uh <laughs> budget works or you know whatever because the the government spends too much on other things and it's 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 just all a a clusterfuck and there is no one right answer there is no one thing that you can just go oh that's what you need to do okay everyone play along and it's fixed it it's it there's several steps and there's several tiers and things that you're going to need to do and plans that you're going to need to follow in order to, to fix it. And then fixing it 
isn't fixing it for some people because these people must have their way and then these other people must have their way and then you have the people in the middle like me who are just like just stop fighting <laughs> just stop fighting i don't give a fuck what happens just stop fighting just it's so annoying listening to these idiots just going rah, 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 rah. if if it's not hurting you why the fuck does it bother you why do you need to have your fingers in every fucking little everything you know, micromanaging shit when you can just ignore it. <laughs> it's free. So, I don't know. Stupid shit like that just gets me wound up. And, uh, you know, you, you have, you have these boomers that are, that are stuck in the past and, and all friggin', you know, concerned over various topics like abortion and, uh, you know, gay rights and trans rights, and I don't care what you think, I don't care what you believe, you know, but everybody's human. If you are if you are a Christian or a, a religious person and you think that, you know, uh, you shouldn't be judgmental and, you know, whatever, because I'm pretty sure, like, isn't judge being judgmental a sin? So stop being judgmental. It's not bothering you. In the end, if they're not going to go to heaven, then more room for you? I don't know. Doesn't it work better that way? I don't fucking know. <laughs> People just get so wound up over over things like like that, and they need to just leave it alone and let people be people. Unless it's hurting someone or hurting you specifically, I don't think that you should have some sort of, you know some sort of, uh, whatever, you know, it's like people are afraid of things that they don't know. And I understand that you show me a math problem that has letters and numbers and symbols in it. I'm going to be like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. You know, computer code, shit like that. I don't get it. I'm, I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole, you know, but people are people just leave them the fuck alone. I don't, I don't get why, you know, People need to, to be involved in other people's shit. I don't know. <sighs> and on that bombshell, <laughs> I just I just wish everybody could get along and everybody could be, you know, not to sound like a Miss America friggin' uh contestant but i i wish everybody could just get along i wish everybody could be peaceful with each other but because one group or another group or or various groups or whatever they need to have their voice heard and they need to have their way and they need to make sure that their way of life whatever isn't interrupted or or changed or altered in any way shape or form because of some fucking man in the sky that you can't see. I, I, you know, religion shouldn't be a part of government. And, you know, it's just, that's what it's being. That's what it's coming down to. And it's just frustrating because somebody, you know, whether my views are correct or wrong or, or in between, which, you know, who knows? Who knows who's right? You know, maybe fucking Satanists have it right. I don't fucking know. I, you know, that's why I'm agnostic. I am open to anything. I don't care what people think. I don't care what people do. They, you know, as long as you don't hurt me or anyone else, I don't give a shit. You do whatever you want. <laughs> you know, Justin Bieber can sell out a friggin' stadium to a hundred thousand people. Doesn't mean I'm going to go. But I don't, you don't see me outside of a fucking Justin Bieber concert picketing going, Justin Bieber, you know, is the devil or whatever. I know that's kind of a stretch, but still, it's, it's the same, uh, it's, it's the same idea with, uh, you know, just, just replace Justin Bieber with, you know, whatever, equal rights or anything else 
and then you try to bring religion or science or whatever into it and it's just like Everybody's like, I don't believe in science, or I don't believe in religion, or I don't believe in this, or I don't believe in that. This goes against my beliefs on this. This goes against my thoughts. This goes against my... Okay, cool. You're annoying yapping about this going against your thoughts or whatever is against my thoughts. What do we do now? We have reached an impasse. But no, because you are you. You're more important so you need to fight and you need to keep going and you need to keep pressing the issue when people like me just want it all to stop <laughs> so yeah rant over <laughs> isn't the world wonderful <clears throat> I don't know. I really don't know what to play. I've already played Driver. <clears throat> I've already played Bolt. Their showdown sucks. <laughs> I, I, in all honesty, I don't think I'm gonna play anything. I'm just gonna either sit here and yap and uh, whatever. Um, eh, Dead, I, Dead Rising, I haven't started, and I'd have to go through the tutorial and all that shit. So, meh. I have a bunch, but. Let's crash a train. <laughs> 